it's me Kashi Wolf and today I decided I wanted to talk about two very important things uh, the first one is something that's been going around on the internet lately that I'm actually very shocked to be seeing uh, I only found out about it because another witchy youtuber made a video about it her name's Dragonfeather and I literally had no idea this was happening until this video was posted and then I started receiving messages from you guys about it and it's the mass binding of Donald Trump which I was absolutely blown away when I found out that, that something like that was actually happening but uh, I'm also going to be talking about love spells in this video but right after this subject a lot of witches have come together and they are performing a mass binding on our current president Donald Trump and I am not the biggest fan of him either but I personally will not be getting involved with this and the reason for that is a binding how I was taught is a last resort it's an absolute last resort and it's usually something that you do on someone who is actually causing a major effect on you or your family it's usually a bully who is like messing with you at school or something or who says that they're gonna hurt you they've made it extremely clear that they're going to a binding is a last resort I understand where a lot of people are coming from I've seen a lot of different you know responses to this and a lot of people really feel that this is going to help and there's also a lot of people who are doing this out of fear, which is not the best thing to do, especially when performing magic. You shouldn't be putting out fear, and not only that, you're working with a lot of people. So even though you guys aren't with each other, you're, you all have the same intent, and your intent is to get him out of office. When it comes to bindings, like I said, it's last resort, you need to find a different solution, a different way of changing things. Because a binding, even though uh, I noticed that media has been saying that it, it has no backlash or anything and that uh, it isn't against someone's will when it is against someone's will, because you're keeping someone from doing something. Even though it's bad, you're keeping them from doing something. So there is going to be karma. Not only that, for the individuals who are doing this out of fear or very negative intentions or emotions, it's going to cause major backlash. And there's even been people who are standing outside of Trump Tower performing this ritual, which shouldn't really be happening. If you're going to perform a spell, you can easily do it at home, use a photo, you know, whatnot. Sorry, I'm not trying to tell everybody how to do this, but I understand. And then at the same time, I'm like, this is a bad idea. You shouldn't be, we shouldn't be doing this binding as last resort. Instead, we should be doing something for protection or trying to send a lot of love out there, a lot of positive energy. And it doesn't have to be directed towards him. You know, if you don't like him, that's on you. You know, you're entitled to feel the way that you feel. But there's other ways to keep him, I guess you can say in a sense, from doing negative things. And that would be by sending out protection, sending out positive energy, and just hoping that he would make the right decisions. You know what I mean? Not necessarily keeping him from doing something. Like, try to send positive energy and hope that people will see things for what they are and that he will make the right decisions. That's the best that we could do and that's the most positive thing that we could do not binding him. It's been bringing a lot of different attention to the witchy community, which I've not necessarily really liked because people who know nothing about magic or witchcraft, who assume that they know everything, a lot of like conspiracy like type channels, they are like witches performing satanic ritual. And nothing against Satanists, you guys, but a Satanist is not always a witch. Witches, we have different practices. There's Christian witches, there's people who are solitary witches, there's Satanic witches, but we are not all the same kind of witch, you know what I mean? For those of you who came here and want to know about us, who actually want to know the truth, 
we are not like evil, angry, green people who worship the devil. You know, that's not us. Maybe some of us, you know, I don't know all the witches. I don't know every witch, but you know, I think, you know, some of us do believe in that. But a lot of us, a big majority of us, don't. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole thing that I kind of dealt with in my last video when I just spoke extremely briefly about Donald Trump. I was saying I didn't agree with him and someone was like, oh, Akash Wolf, I didn't know you were a minority. That's like saying every single person who voted for Donald Trump is racist. When we know that's not true, even though a lot of us want to make it seem that way, there's a lot of other reasons why they voted for him, which I don't necessarily agree with either, but I'm not going to try to turn this into a major political thing. I'm trying to put the facts out there about witches. I don't want you guys to feel like, I'm like, oh, you're so bad to be doing this and stuff like that, but I just, I don't agree with it. And I don't think good will really come out of it, honestly. I feel like we need, if we decide to make some kind of magical approach, it would have to be in a different way, not a binding. That's absolute last resort, absolute last resort. It kind of became a little bit of a big thing too, especially after Lana Del Rey said she was going to be getting involved with the ritual, which I was like, wait a minute, she practices magic? I didn't know that. So that was kind of interesting to find out, but apparently, I wasn't going to make a video about this, but apparently it's something that witches want to continue to do throughout the whole like rest of his four years until he's out of office, which is way too much energy for him. You could be putting that energy into something more positive. There's other things that you could be putting your energy towards. There's a lot of energy surrounding him and I feel like the universe has a plan and you're getting involved in it and I don't think that's a good idea. I think that there's already a plan in place and things are going to happen the way they should. And I have a very positive mindset about where things are going to be going, or at least I try to have a positive mindset but what I'm trying to do is put out positive energy and I think that's what we all should be trying to do and finding different ways to make change and I don't feel, again, I don't feel like the binding would be the best thing to do. So moving on from that, hopefully that wasn't way too long. Um, now I want to talk about another issue that keeps on coming up and I, this is like an Akashic um, Archives question but uh, I didn't pick anyone particular, in particular because there's literally so many of you. I literally get this every single day and that is a love spell. And I personally don't like love spells and it's not all the spells, it's the kind that you use to get your ex back or to get someone in particular that you want and constantly constantly i'm always getting uh i want to get my ex back how do i do this it's like if they left you and some of them even cheated why would you want that person back like that's harmful to you why would you want to be with someone like that that's freaking not right <laughs> i wouldn't want to be with someone like that if anything they're doing you a favor instead of wasting your time and by wanting to get them back and using magic to do that, putting yourself in bad karma is the worst decision you can make. I know there's a lot of people out there who really want this, but I've heard way too many times, and I've even personally encountered this, the negative impact that love spells have. They work, but then things change. Karma gets you back because you're going against someone's will. You are not allowed to be doing something that is driving someone to do something that's against their will and their will is not to be with you and you doing a love spell to bring them back to you that's forcing them to come to you and of course breaking their will one of my one of my first spells not my very first i've done a lot of protection spells but one of my first spells was a love spell i've done it twice the first one didn't work the second one worked and what had happened was that I got the person, but then I ended up meeting somebody else. We weren't like in a relationship and I ended up liking somebody else. Like a lot, like hardcore. And it was soon after the spell and how it worked. And I ended up really liking this person. So I didn't want that person anymore. And you see, that's like karma's little wave, like 
changing things. So I ended up, you know, saying bye to the person I did the spell on and wanted the other individual that I really liked. Then that individual had, um, was actually like a player and a douche. <laughs> they were very slick and they ended up tossing me aside like almost instantly. It was insane. In the end, I ended up without both. You know, I, I thought I had liked somebody a lot, but then after I had them and met somebody else that I actually ended up really liking, they ended up throwing me aside after I threw the other person under the spell aside. And I know it sounds extremely douchey. I was young. That's the kind of thing that happens. You'll get the individual back, but then you'll end up losing them in some kind of different way. It's like it did work, but you're not like necessarily keeping the person forever. And I've been getting a couple of people writing to me telling me I did a love spell on this person, I got him back, this and this happened, and they left me and basically left them in a worse situation than they were in before. So I know it's really easy for people to say, you know, just, you know, get over it and try to forget about them, but when you really do feel that you care about somebody that's extremely difficult to do. You honestly think that you're never going to meet someone who's going to make you feel like that again. When in reality, you're going to meet someone who makes you feel 10 times like better, 10 times more beautiful, 10 times more awesome. The feelings are going to be way more. This person was just like a stepping stone. They were someone to help you grow and you need to look at it like that. Don't look at it like the end of the world because there's been a couple times when I've been with certain people and I really thought that this was the best feeling ever and I was never going to find this again and then I end up meeting somebody who just makes me feel like way different in the most positive way possible. It's so hard to explain and it's so awesome and I just want you guys to not waste your energy on someone who doesn't want to be with you. There's someone out there who does want to be with you and who will do anything for you. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your positive energy on that individual because a lot of times people get extremely impatient with these types of spells and then they start to turn, like the best way I can say is green. It's like they get like this dark, like dirty kind of energy because it's not happening immediately. When spells kind of take, you know, some time, depends on the spell, but it really changes the individual. And I don't like when that happens. Usually when that starts happening, I'm just like, I'm out, but I will not perform these spells for you. Absolutely not. If you decide you want to do this, then you have to do it because you're the one with all the energy and passion for it. So you have to perform that spell. But when it comes to the stuff that I do, the, the love spells that I do, they're more for opening you to love and helping like bring that energy towards you, help you put that out into the universe so that it comes back to you. It's not to take somebody against their will. It's getting you prepared. But not, you're not, I'm not going to have you take anybody because that's not good. That's really bad and it's going to come back at you hardcore. So please try to avoid doing spells like that. So you guys, I hope that video was helpful. If you guys have more questions about love spells or about this whole binding situation, uh, especially for any of you who just came to view the video to get an opinion of which, just let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions and I will try to answer them for you as best as I can. But know that I cannot speak for all witches. You know, we're all very different and I'm just speaking my piece. Please leave any questions down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe so that you can be part of the wolf pack. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye and blessed be.